Welcome to the mental edge. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. You know, I'm in the business of pleasing people, and, and yeah, and right. That, that right and now is not <laughs> which you do well, right? right yeah. Which that'll probably be how we open this. It'll be just that phrase. Yeah. No one will know what we talked about. <laughs> yeah. It'll, say, yeah. it'll just be that same. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the business of pleasing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah. That's well, good stuff. Shane, welcome to the Mental Edge Podcast. And we're going to introduce ourselves real sure. quick, if you don't mind. Absolutely. My name is Jay Wakasey. I'm Fernando Lopez Jr. Shane Evans of of the Hobart Art Theater. <laughs> Shane Evans. Of? Of the Hobart Art Theater. Of the Hobart Art Theater. That's right. Welcome to the Mental Edge, Shane. Historic Art Theater. And if you haven't been in town in a while, if you've been gone for a minute. You've been living under a rock. (laughs) Rock. (laughs) Rock. Instead of a rock show. Yeah, right. There you go. Right? Yeah, yeah. So a lot of things have changed, man. Do you have any idea, Shane? Why Fernando and I, because we love to talk about men getting things done. Sure. That's what this is all about. Absolutely. Yep. Do you have any idea why we would bring you on the show? Um, You tell me. You approach oh. me. You ask me. Why, you, why, why am I Hey, target, we'll be you know? asking the questions. <laughs> yeah. after, right? Flip the script, Jay. Okay. You know? <laughs> well, so I've been watching you for a long time. Two and months in the making. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, two seasons two, in the making. Two seasons, seasons in, in the making. making. Right. Uh, mm, boom. Since you began the transformation and... One of the things that we love to talk about here is people who see potential in things sure. and then have to go all in. And I can't imagine anyone yeah, going uh, all in. All in is, is, is the term for this. You know what I mean? Um, and, that, and that's what I did, you know. Um, it, it was a big decision, you know, and, I, and I, of course I got with my wife and talked uh-huh. about it. Yeah. And Can we do that again? It, it was a big decision. Of course I got with my wife. Yeah. Um, you know, leaving a career for 20 years to just hang it up and where wow. you're comfortable, you know, that's um, crazy. It, it, it's, it's a leap of faith, you know, but, yeah. um, I, I was to the point to where I, I knew I needed to live for me and find what I wanted out of this yeah. life. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it, it, it's a spiritual thing, you know, you yeah. got to dig deep and figure mm. it out, you know, working for a corporation and working for, you know, the man for your entire life. I mean, <laughs> it, it pays well, yeah. you know, you get yeah. your vacations and yeah. your insurance and all that stuff. And, and I think most people get complacent in that yes. comfortability of things. It's you know what I mean? We talk about that. And going outside of that is tough, you know, and I'm still learning. I'm still figuring mm. things out, you know, but wow. that's what drives me. That's what drives me. That's right. You know what I mean? I, I, I want to be the best. Yeah. Well, I want this venue to be the best. Yeah. You know, so every Shows. day there's yeah. there there's something that we do and I do every day to make it the best. Wow. Well, that sums it up. Welcome. I mean, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the Metal Edge <laughs> That's podcast. A wrap. That's yeah. a wrap. Yeah. That's no, a wrap. Yeah. Really, I mean, I love the way you opened up the show there, yeah. Shane, because that's exactly why we wanted you on the show. Yeah. Uh, we we see something special going on over there. We see something that people. Uh, an opportunity for people who are local musicians to aspire sure. to ascend to. And we'll talk mm-hmm. about that as we get into the conversation. But yeah, we had Johnny Jones, Johnny James. Yeah. Johnny, Johnny James. James. Oh, I love Johnny. Johnny. Yeah. He's a great guy. Yeah. 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 He was phenomenal. We recorded him, but he wouldn't, I don't think he let it himself. He, he didn't trust us. I was, dude, I did some auto tune. I did all kinds of things, right. man. Yeah. Right. But anyway, uh, did you get him playing a song. At I least? got him. Yeah. I got him. We got him to one <laughs> yeah. song. It was okay. awesome. You know, and yeah, right on the spot. He, he, he killed you know? it. He yeah. killed it. He really, he did. he's a pro. He's, He's a pro. pro I got yeah. it. I got Sweet guy, and yeah, mm-hmm. of course, you know, you and I both have a good relationship mm-hmm. with him. You know, yep. through the theater and doing shows. Absolutely. And stuff, so. He's a fun guy. He's and super he, tangible. He was born and raised out here, which mm-hmm. is cool. How about you? Were you born and raised out yeah, here? Yeah, actually, I I grew up one block west of here. Wow. Oh, so okay. I here in Hobart. To, yeah, okay. on, on the street actually right behind this building here. It's called Ash Street. Wow. Okay. I grew up on that street. It was dead end at the time, and it was all woods back here, and we used to take the trails to the grocery store. That, nice. that used to be right here in this parking mm-hmm. lot and go in there and, and cause trouble as kids. Oh. And- <laughs> This is your 911 operator. How can I help you? Oh, ma'am, it's that Evans kid again. He just rode a wheelie on his bicycle right through the grocery store. I don't even know where he went. No worries. We know where he lives. <laughs> <laughs> Hobart graduate. 
a Hover graduate. Yep. He's a bricky. Um, Once yep, a bricky, yep. always a bricky. Yep. And, so and you're you're familiar with the area. You're familiar with the building. Hundred percent. Okay. Hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. I grew yeah. up going to see movies there. This you know, I, yeah. I grew up with you know Mr. Prosecchi, the original owner, kicking me out as as a teenager. Yeah, hilarious. So, um, yeah. I, you know, I had I had I had my first kiss. You know, oh. outside of that theater. You know, yeah. so holy crap. It wasn't on them seats because those seats were uncomfortable. But yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the seats there now aren't as bad. They've changed them a couple yeah. of times over the years. Yeah. You know, but yeah, I mean, of course. There, there, there's, there's a lot of of Hobart history that ties into that room, and yeah, I'm exactly. now part of that history. And you know what I tell everybody is, um, especially bands and that want to play there, and yeah. people that try to get in and see shows. You know, this is not my venue. I don't look at it that way. This yeah. is their venue. Absolutely brilliant. Wow. This is your wow. room to come and enjoy. That's cool, we that? don't yeah. discriminate for age, color, race, sex. I don't care right. who you are or what you enjoy. We're going to bring something for everybody, yeah. and I want everyone to come yeah. in and feel comfortable there. And that's what you they, know. That's, and, that and that's what we want to create. This, this building will be there after me. Wow, yeah. you know what I mean. So this is not mine. This is for everybody. Yeah, and that's the image that we want to portray to people at this point. Wow. Yeah. All right. So, incredible. so was it you and bro- any brothers, or just just you growing up here? Um, yeah, I got. Uh, I have an older brother okay. who's uh, six years older than me, so he's what fifty yeah. now or so. Um, yeah. yeah, he he's the one who really turned me on to music. Uh, he, you already you, yeah. you caught on to where I was going. Go yeah, ahead. so you know, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm you know in sixth grade and he's a senior in high school, yeah. so okay. of course I'm listening awesome. to what he's listening to, yeah. and this yeah. this is you know um, late eighties, early nineties. Yeah, yeah. So my first. Uh, you know, introduction into music was the '80s hair yeah. scene a little bit. Yeah, okay. yeah he yeah, was yeah, into yeah, the, yeah. you know, the Poisons, the sure, Motley sure. Crews, and all yeah. that. And that's what kind of drew me in. And then as I kind of came into my own, of course, it was the '90s grunge scene. Okay, uh-huh. and that changed yeah. the world forever. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Me, myself included. Yeah. Gotcha. So that that was my you know my initial launch into what music is and what it could do for me. And and I remember going to my first concert. I was. Um, do you remember who it was? Oh, yeah, it was Pearl Jam. I, I think I've heard of him. Um, He's a huge Pearl Jam yeah, fan. Okay. So that was there, my yeah. first. Con- and at yeah. this point, Pearl Jam—they're the biggest band in the world. You yeah. know what I mean? They're, yeah. they're, they're absolutely. Huge. So I, I I let my mom, uh, or I convinced my mom rather, to let me skip school. Okay. Um, they were sold out, so I, I made a sign. Need two tickets. <laughs> Attention, all Pearl Jam fans. Both my brother and I need tickets, and we have eleven dollars. Don't all jump at once. A kid, uh, you know, freshman in <laughs> high school, cool. holding the sign, and, and we and my brother and I scored tickets. Wow! Wow! And we went to this sold out show, and and you know it was at the old Chicago Stadium. So seeing a band of that caliber in a sold out situation is my yeah. first. Thing. Dude, you were drunk in love. That was right. it. <laughs> it's it, over. That, it's it, over. That, I, I, that, that it's was it. Over. I was hooked. You know, not only to music, but you know, I still attach myself to that band and, and see that mm-hmm. band, and they've led me to many great places across the country and, and, wow. and other countries to see them play. And yeah. you know, and that's what music does. Yeah. You know, music. Yeah. Music. It's a journey, man. You wow. know. So yeah. that's 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 uh, a really cool way to look at it. I'm still on that journey, and, and I'm and I'm blessed to be a part of it you know yeah. even driving here today i'm thinking this is part of that journey coming yeah. to do this yeah. kind of stuff yeah. is part of that you know what i mean yeah. and i'm so happy to be a cog in the wheel of music <laughs> yeah you know what i mean whether it's right. bringing a national act in bringing a local band in bringing a tribute band in a comedy whatever yeah i'm, I'm a part of that now yeah you yeah. know what i mean and that's that's special to me yeah so did you get incredible. into the music part of it while you were yeah yeah actually um uh, you know of course like i said that grunge got me really into listening to music yeah and then as i got, I got older i started to play drums okay um, i always wanted to be a drummer for some reason i love percussion yeah um and that's when i got into the new metal of music okay you know this one Ozfest was really hitting yeah, yeah. you yeah. know you had um a lot of the you know the big metal bands the the you know Soul Pantera, Fly. Soulfly, there you go. I seen you um, play Soulfly. Yeah, Corn. Yeah, you know that whole new metal. Of course, Disturbed from Chicago. You know, okay. I knew those guys when they were Black Talon playing small right. clubs around here. You right. know, so I got into that scene a lot and okay. and played in a couple bands that did some great things. You know, we yeah. kind of we toured around you know parts of the Midwest and played some big shows and had fun with it and opened up for different. Yeah, yeah, right. That, that had to be really cool too, right? Yeah, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not as glamorous. You see yeah. the other side of it as yeah, people think yeah, it is, yeah. but you know, but you do it for for the love and the passion of yeah. playing. And then, you know, I finally got to a point in my life to where 
you know, lugging around a drum set and, and getting together with, with four guys <laughs> and trying to create it, it became more work than it was yeah. enjoyable. Yeah. Is it because you started growing a family, or is it... No, was it no, a, no. I mean, my, my wife knew what she was getting into when right. we got married. <laughs> you know? I mean, I was always playing in bands. That was always my thing. You okay. Know I mean? So she... But I knew for myself that at, at a certain point, it became work, and it became yeah. di- difficult to do, and I didn't want to do it. Were you doing that and working at the same time, Yeah, too? Yeah, mm. working full-time, mm, yeah. you know, career, kids, yeah. so- soccer practice, everything, yeah. you know? And, 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 and But now, I, I, have, I get the musical fix every day. I get the musical fix every day. Yeah. Yeah. Now, yeah. now it's so cool, man. I found a way to build it into my life. That's yeah. insane you know I mean? how it so, evolved. Yeah. yeah. And, and it and it's still ever evolving. Yeah. You know what I mean? We change, like I said, daily and we do things yeah. different and, and mm-hmm. you know, like I said, just to be a part of it and to be on the other side of things now, yeah. you know, we're we're booking the bands, we're we're doing all the legwork of setting shows up, you know. It's a different side of it. And um, you know, I didn't know a lot about that going into yeah. it, you yeah. know. So now it's it's that's what we do. Last you know? Saturday, Suzanne and I, uh, I left here. Mm-hmm. Or not, last Thursday, I'm sorry. Yeah, we left here, and there's a huge bus yeah. in front of your, your yeah. place with like a a trailer attached Insanely to the bus. Great. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah, that yeah. that was that was Landco, which you know his mm-hmm. stepson Tyrus. That's okay. his company. Booked, yeah. you know booked we, okay. we worked together. Okay, um, and that was one of the shows that he and I did together. So um, yeah, that have, that was a great show. You got to see oh, it. That was a. Man. You know, a, a, a very cool up and coming country rock type act. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. I mean, how cool is that to see giant tour buses parked almost every other weekend yeah. downtown Hobart and people? It's part of the up. magic, Shane. Yeah. It is. It's it is. Freaking, it is because magic. I love it. That's, what I, that's where I was going with that. I'm like, wow, look at that. That is cool. Because he, he, yeah. he told me he was going to be heading that way. And I kind of forgot. <laughs> the yeah. Next thing you know, yeah. I pull it up. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. Suzanne's was like, what do you think that is? I was like, I don't know. They're important though. Look at the size of that bus. Right, right. So, yeah, you can really always cool. tell how big a band is by how new the bus I know. is. Oh, how really? it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, that, oh, yeah. Man. that one was all like silver. Yeah, Satin, yeah. Silver, everything matched. You know. They said we'll so. take the chrome one. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it looked yeah. like. I've been begging tires to bring that band for a while, right? But he's a very good businessman. Sure. Right. He's, he's going to make a count. He's going to make right. you know. He know. He understands demographics and. And he, I saw him that night, and he's like, "What'd you think about that show?" Like Tyrus, there's not people like those guys. No, I don't. I don't. If they don't fit in somewhere, it's everybody else's fault, right? Because they're uh, freaking. And Shane, I love that you. Ha- there's a place right here where right. I can see those bands. I can't. They, I can't even put it into perspective. It, they were amazing, and you know that's another great piece of this. Is prior to you know Tyrus and myself kind of talking and booking mm-hmm. this band and, and getting this set up, I didn't know who they were. You yeah, know what I mean right. so. To, to be able to still discover at this yeah. point <laughs> well, is amazing. You yeah. know what I mean? And, and that happens with a oh, lot of acts wow. that we do. Mm-hmm. You know, even the ones that we book internally, mm-hmm. whether it's myself, outside promoter like Tyrus yeah. or somebody, some of these, I don't know. So yeah. I research and of course, discovery of it is just mm-hmm. great. And, and, you know, I constantly listen to Sirius XM radio yeah. on Spotify and I yeah. listen to new bands and yeah. who's coming out that I'm looking at who's touring and it's Wow. Awesome, man. It's awesome. I think, you know? I think something I took just from what you were saying the last uh, few minutes, discovery could be your mantra. Your mantra. Your mantra. Your mantra. Your mantra. Yeah. That could be your life mantra. Sure. Because he like discovered yeah. how to incorporate his passion and love for mm-hmm. music into his life, getting out of like the everyday whatever is going on. And then even right now, discovering bands and discovering all these different... That's a cool mantra to have. Yeah, yeah We know, should all say, take, it really is. take and like that into our, you know, into our own lives. It's crazy to me. You're a great example, Shane. And we always tell people that you have to go down a road because you really don't know what the destination is going to sure. be and mm-hmm. how it's all counted right. for you. I have a Shane story. Yeah. That's share. okay. Please share. Sure. Oh, no, he's not. I'm just joking. It's going <laughs> to be great. Okay, because you're great. But here's what's... So I remember going to Rosie O'Grady's one night with my buddies, and I was one of those closet musicians that played in his band. I would always go there and then criticize the people. That, Wait, it was second, very... I've heard this it was a story very, like, I'm like, what a butthole I was, right? Because <laughs> yeah, they yeah. had the balls. I walk into Rosie O'Grady's, and I guess it's new metal night. Ah. Okay. okay. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, geez, who are these guys? Yeah. And I see you guys setting up. You had a bass player who had the mic above his head and the mic tilted down and he yep. was the singer. And then you start playing drum, Shane. Oh, wow. Shane, you are an incredible drummer. I think maybe you even had like a jazz kit, maybe not even two toms on top. Maybe. Uh, I yeah. Know. I usually kept it pretty clean, you know, clean and tight. Yeah. Nice. But yes. what was incredible was you had just described an era of your life. 
This is what happened. You guys played for a long time. They were killing it, Junior. Well, killing I've it. heard this story. I already know. Where, I, but yeah, then this here's, is amazing. Yeah. Here's what. This is, here, this. Hey, this, this has been in, in every yeah. season so far. But yeah, go ahead. I yeah. do. So then. I just didn't know it was you. Here's the other. Here's what happened. It was time to go home. Okay. And they're like. They like people start chanting. They want you to do. I think it was a Soulfly song. There's people like long haired people like yeah. one more song. And Shane, yeah. you're like, you're like, no, I got a job. I got a place to be. Right. I, and, but then you know what overcome come Shane, his love for music. Yeah, sure. Right. And guess what they did. They did one or two, maybe three more songs. Jay, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on record and say there may be a cocktail or two involved in that decision. <laughs> 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 but, wow, that, you know, that I, I can't believe we haven't had that conversation mm-hmm. before. Yeah. I, I, yeah. That's, cool that's that? amazing to me. You know? yeah. And those are times in my life that, that were amazing. You know? yeah. and, and we had wanted to try to play there forever because it's Hobart and whatever. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. and, and I've forgotten all about that show until Dude. you brought it up now. Yeah. And so, I didn't know. like yeah. Me as a guy that went there, I'm like, do they play here every Friday? What's going on? <laughs> I don't know. These guys are incredible. Yeah, I don't think right. we were invited back, but uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, but That's but funny. you know, we we brought you know some of that new metal style to areas or bars or whatever that may not normally have been a part of that. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Mm-hmm. A lot of times at that stage of the game, you know, you had to go to Chicago, you had to go to the suburbs, you had exactly, to play in some of these Shane. clubs. So you know, we were we were trying to do a little bit more of that locally, and um, that that was great stuff, man. It yeah. was it was a really fun time in my life. How did that story? poke its head into other seasons. I don't know. And how did you know that I, was me now? Because I know your brother very well. Oh. I know I know Ryan. Okay. I work with Ryan, right? Right. Okay. So did that's part of the you? connection. I didn't miss you work with him. Yeah, I didn't realize you did yeah, as well. Yes, yeah. okay. yes, 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 yes. Okay. So I've been watching like you you do things and when I when I found out you were the one who perched I knew I'm like, it's gonna be great. I told my wife I'm like, it's gonna be great. They're gonna and but by the way, I can't even imagine Shane, you walk in there and I don't know how much about music production you know, how much about sound you know. You make great sound, right, yeah. as a musician. But what did you just walk in there and you're like, eh, babe, let's try it? I mean, there's so much to do. It, 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 was, it was overwhelming, no doubt about it. You know, once we got in there to the really the guts of the building mm-hmm. to see what we had to overcome, um, it's nothing short of astonishing at this point. You know, I mean, figure that building was opened in 1941. Wow. And nothing had changed. <laughs> A moment of silence. <laughs> nothing had changed, man. Uh, you know, just just to get power in there to run what wow. we do now was absurd. I can't even you imagine. Know? Um, so, yeah, I mean, but the the good thing about it is, is I didn't have another job at that point. Yeah. I didn't have another career. Mm. You know what I mean? If I would have still been in my previous career or whatever and trying to do this part-time, I would have probably pulled out because I got something else to fall back on. That's, that's I wisdom. had nothing else to fall back on. So I knew at that moment, I, I got to make this happen. Hit the record button. I got to make this happen. It, there, was, mm. there was no turning back wow. at that point. You know what I mean? Mm. Plus, financially, everything I had was in that room. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So th- there was... Wow. I had made that commitment early on. You know, okay. I... Mm-hmm. Cashed up my 401k, everything I put it in, right. put it all in what the a, building. What a great story, you know, Shane. That's what so, I was going to ask. I was like, holy I mean, how cow. ballsy, man. Wow. Well, you know what? All man, in, huh? I, I, I'm a person. Just like we said earlier. I refuse to live with regrets. <laughs> I refuse to live with regrets. 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 I refuse regrets. it. You okay. know what I mean? Um, you know, even as, as a younger man, I, you know, after some college and stuff, I moved down to Florida. I had a friend that lived down there. I just said, I'm leaving. I'm going. I just yep. picked up and moved. You, know you got to I mean? try it. Yep. I got to try it because that's what I wanted to do. And I, I don't want to never want to be that person getting elder aged and saying, man, I, I should have did this. Should've I should have did that. Why didn't I do that? You know what I mean? I, I, I can't I can't live that way. Yeah. So for me, once I took that plunge and committed to doing this, there was no turning back. Yeah. You know, no. Turning and there's really back. no other way, really. If you think about it now, Shane, could, like you just said, you couldn't have been you couldn't have been ankle deep. Right. You would have drowned if you were ankle deep. Right. Yeah. Well, (laughs) you had had to be neck deep in it to really feel it. Yeah. Right. Right. um, But, you know, now, you know, I'm I'm still neck deep in it, you know, but now it's what I do. You know what I mean? Now it's not just, hey, let's give this a try. Now it's what I do. Yeah. So, yeah. Basic man stuff when you're drowning, you have to paddle your way up. You have to swim. You have to swim. You have to, you know, go, go for it. Right. And how awesome 
of a story was that. Right? I know, oh but God. I just don't know how you made it through that freaking pandemic, bro. Oh, that, that was tough. <laughs> right, yeah. No doubt about it. I mean, you... Wait, what, what year... That damn start. pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> what, what year did you buy the building in? 2019. Get, pandemic is 2020. <laughs> So, There's so much to this story. And, and we, you know, it's God. funny because, you know, March 17th was our last day operating in 2020. And we were already having um, through, you know, mid-February into mid-March, a record 30 days. Mm. Wow. We were having our highest yeah. profits yeah. And, since we had it. opened the building. Shows were going great. People were responding. And then we were 100% shut down. Mm. So no doubt about it. We had to be extremely creative on how we're going to make things work. Yeah. Um, how we're going to keep our employees paid, um, and and all that good stuff, you know. So, it, it, can you share like some of the little, maybe one of the stories that kind of stands out of um, making it work? You know, really was um, a lot of venue owners that I had talked to were kind of like, uh, I guess, afraid to do things. Okay. Um, yeah. At that point, they were afraid sure. to. Uh, sure. You know, get so, somebody claiming I got COVID at my building, or yeah, yeah. Or, or this happened, yeah. or whatever. You know, and, and these are Chicago guys, these yeah, are yeah. Illinois guys, which of course it. things were different. different, different there too. We know yeah. that yeah. across yes. the lines, it was different. But um, you know, we ended up petitioning the health department um, for every show for like I don't know ninety days. Wow. I had to write a different petition for every show, saying it's worth it. This is what we're going to do. This is how we're going to space people apart. These are the safety measures okay. we're taking. This nice. is how many tickets we're selling. Okay. You know, so we did that. So you, you didn't know. pack the place out. You guys reserved numbers or whatever. Yeah. I, I'm just, yeah, I'm just. You, you know, first I, they started at 25%, you gotcha. know, of wow. course. Right. And then we kind of did show. But then, you know, you got to be careful with the talent that you're bringing in. Mm. You know, hey, this mm. band gets paid this much, but we're only bringing in so many yeah. people. So I had to work hand in hand with the bands to say, hey, that's, this is the business side of it. Sure. Traditionally, yeah. we would pay you this much, but let's pay you this much because we're doing this many people. And mm -hmm. bands were just so excited to play, yeah. you know, because, again, in Illinois, across the border, mm -hmm. they couldn't. Yeah. Other clubs didn't want to take the risk, you know. Yeah. But, again, this is what I do. Yeah. This is what yeah. I committed to. I committed to having bands here. I'm going to find a way to do it. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and we did. And we did it safely. We did it right. And then, of course, as things gradually opened up and yeah. changed, you know, we just kept pushing pushing the envelope to, to max it out. So whatever, I'll be honest, whatever the government's going to give me, I'm going to take it. Yeah. yeah. You know, if Amen. you say it's yeah. 50%, 75%, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to yeah. stay within the law. We're yeah. going to do it right, yeah. but I'm going to take it. Yeah. You know? I, I got to just ask this. So do you see any, like, when you in your younger days, do you see any skill set or things that you did that pertain to some of the things that you're doing now? Like, were you a guy that, like, set up lemonade stands and sold, you know, like, what, yeah. what paper kind of route. paper route? Like, what, were there little things that you that you could look back now and say, wait a second, maybe that little thing that I used to do then mm -hmm. is paying tribute to what, you know, some of the superpowers you're exerting now? I'd have to give that, you know, to my, my parents. You okay. Know yeah. what I'm saying? Right. You know, coming from, you know, a blue collar family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, my dad worked every day at the mill. Okay. Religiously. Never yeah. missed a day. I mean, right. he was, you know, there, you know, 35 some odd years. And I think he, yeah. missed, he missed less than five days. Old school work. Wow. Okay. You know what I mean? So, Jeez. and my parents were always hardworking, tr loving yeah. people. You know what I mean? So gotcha. that, that's where it came from, along with my love of music. You know, my okay. parents were um, kind of hippies, I guess, yeah. some yeah. of the way. So, you know, there was always music in our home. Mm. You know, my mom was the world's biggest Almond Brothers fan, and my dad loved the Doobie Brothers. Yeah. And, so there was always I mean, music playing. Mm, There's that, a, you it know, was always records. It was always rolling. part of, of what we do as a family, yeah. you know. And now, and, and, I, and I know Missy asked, you know, is your mom coming tonight? Yeah. You know, my oh. mom will come to almost every show. <laughs> That's crazy. That is awesome. And, <laughs> yeah. And she's, you know, 70 some odd yeah. or 72, uh, 73 something. How cool is that? So, unless it's, you know, a metal show or yeah. something. Yeah. You know, like That's that. cool. Like, Two Life Crew might be a bit much. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> might be. But she, she'll come, you know, yeah. she comes and has a seat. She'll have a cocktail and she'll be yeah. the one dancing. And I mean, it's yeah. like, you know, it, it's Dude, that, that's special. The work ethic of, of family and the music of family is kind of what I see. Coupled together is kind of what made right. you. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, you know, when you talk about work, you know, I was kind of the same way. You know, it's like I, I, I never missed work. I was always mm -hmm. hard work and I always wanted to be the best, you mm -hmm. know. And, and, I, and, and I think that's why Tyrus and I kind of gel yeah we both are driven to be the best at what we do at yeah. any given time we both are driven to be the best at what we do at yeah. any given time absolutely brilliant that's you know cool, what i mean man. and that's myself and i just realized at some point that 
hell, I need to start working for myself here, not somebody else. Yeah, and, with you your know, attitude. Waking up and, 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 and doing that is, mm-hmm. that's the difference maker. Wow. Yeah. You know, Shane, who do you, I mean, who do you go to for advice? Because you do seem to, this is normally a junior question, yeah, but it just popped like in it. my head because yeah. I, I could just see your mind's going all the time. Yeah. yeah. You know, Tyrus, Tyrus has told me several times, he just, he loved your vision and he knew, he knew that it would mesh with his. Sure. You know, so, but who are you, who are you calling and saying, what do you think about this? And, you know, that's, um, you know, I had a, a business mentor, I guess I would, I would yeah, say, you know, wonderful. going through my, um, you know, my thirties and stuff like that. Uh, um, he actually had some, some really big businesses. He invented, um, like, uh, that spring and insulation you do in your walls and stuff yeah. and expanding. Jeez. So a good, yeah. he was older than me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I had met him through my previous career and we became good friends and I kind of used him as, as a business mentor and about five years or so ago, I want to say he, he passed away. Yeah. He had aggressive bone cancer, mm-hmm. passed away. So I was kind of lost, you know what I yeah. mean? But you know, he was the one who, who made that statement to you, you know, we're, you're working too hard for somebody else. Mm. Find a way to work for yourself. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And that always stuck with me. And, you know, and when he passed, I was kind of, I, I didn't know what to do, where to go. Yeah. You know, but I, ha- and I don't know if you've met him yet, Jay, but I, I have a business partner who's, who's, you know, 50, 50 with me in the business. He handles <laughs> more, more of the kitchen side, the cooking yeah. side, the serving piece. Amazing restaurant. Right. And that's not something I, I, I love to eat the food and anything else I can't handle, yeah. you know, but that's kind of his piece. And, and, but now we've de- it's a marriage you know yeah. what i mean we've developed enough of a relationship with each other now that we can bring anything to each other at any time and bounce incredible. it off yeah even if it's something we don't like we yeah. can address it and Dang, and move on it's pivotal you know we, yeah. and, we, and it, that didn't happen overnight you yeah. know it happens organically yeah. over time um, and, we've developed, and with hard work and with hard work but we've kind of <laughs> we've learned each other's boundaries we know how the other one operates and we trust the other one no! And we trust the other one. Yeah. He can make whatever decision he needs to make with the business on his yes. side, financially or whatever. I'll back it. And he does the same for me. So yeah. to have that kind of person, you know, you can kind of fall back on or have questions with, you know yeah. what I mean? It, it, it's necessary for, for a business to have that type of partnership. You know yeah. what I mean? So I have that really person cool. now. And and outside of just him and I, and, we, you know, we handle all the decisions. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, when it comes to the show stuff, you know, of course, I work with the individual promoters, bands, yeah. whatever, and make those calls. But high level stuff, it's he and I, and that's it. That's you great, know? man. So. And the, hey, best BLT in the city. <laughs> yeah, that's hands a good one. Down. Where's it at? Uh, it's the Brick House, right? Yeah, Brick House okay. Bar and Grill. It's just right next door. Next to the door. Theater. Oh, right next yep. to you yep. guys. Yep. All right. It's a good yes. place to go to dinner right before a great show. Yep. I have. I may have done that if you did. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So th- that that's that introduces another aspect of the business part that you know we. I kind of weren't ready yeah. for them, you know yeah. what I mean? But um, it works great, especially when, you know, bands are traveling and you got to cater with them and, you know, people mm-hmm. want to come to eat before a show. Yeah. And, you know, we kind of, you know, sometimes cater the menu depending on who's coming sure. and yeah. playing, you know. So it's, we, we, we've we made it work really well at this point. So we were using it to our advantage for sure. Nice. Yeah, man. And you, uh, so sometimes people are a little picky, right? I mean, you know. <laughs> Type A personalities. Type a, there's some type sure. A people. They're great artists. They're, you know, like, I mean, Shane, you, you cater to a different human being sometimes three or four nights a week, maybe, maybe more. Sure. I mean, I can imagine, you know, people are like, I'm not really happy with the amount of reverb in the monitor. So I'm just <laughs> can only imagine, Shane. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I yeah. want Skittles, but only the red only ones. Only right. or, or yeah, remove yeah, all the red ones. Right. Right. And it, it, it's, it's funny that this, this industry this world has changed since the pandemic and yeah, that's okay. one thing wonderful that, that's oh, one man. thing that i'll say <laughs> has changed some i don't know if it's some gonna thankfulness maybe? bounce back right you oh. know band, bands are extremely thankful for venues not to say they ever weren't but mm, they understand I now hey i i need to be thankful for what i can do and travel and play yeah. in a venue you know but our our engineers and tyrus knows it too they understand the expectations at this point. Mm. The expectation for any band, whether you're local, mm. traveling, a national, is perfection. It needs to be mm. perfect. Don't we don't always get there, you know what I mean? But the end user, the yeah. regular person listening, will never figure, you know, find something, you know. But no. again, we strive for perfection, and my sound guys know to operate that yeah. way. So anytime, hey, Shane, I, I think we got a monitor that's got a buzz to it. The next day, I got somebody out there working on it, checking it out. You know, we just took apart the underneath of our stage the past two days to work, pull all the subs out, 
check all the subs, clean them, make sure they're ready to go. Yeah. You know, that that's the behind the scenes stuff and the stuff that costs money um, that <laughs> oh, yeah. people don't think about. But <clears throat> it has to be our goal is perfection, period. Yeah. You know, and our team knows that at that point, And they have now adapted that to their mantra. It's a special vibe. It needs. Yeah. A, have you yeah, been to yeah. a show yet, Junior? No. Oh, man. I'm going now. Yeah. I got <laughs> Yeah. I got to go. Dude. Right. He's fixing subs and he's a drummer. Right. I got to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, you know, some people, they, they associate what they do for a living as like who they are. Sure. Right. So, and I get it. So if you're a musician and you don't have anywhere to play, um, you're going to feel lost. You're at home all day. You're t- t- We had this conversation mm-hmm. with, with uh, James. So my point is. Did you feel it doesn't seem like it to me, but did you feel any type of way during the like during that era where or that time where you were sitting there thinking about, OK, so how is this going to work? Am I going, you know, is I'm not going to have any shows right now and this is part of who I am or I feel like you were the you, from what I understand, if it sounds like you were the opposite, you were just like, you know what, I'm just going to try to make this work. Yeah. And, and like I said, it, again, I didn't have a choice. You okay. know, I didn't have a choice of going backwards. You know, we yeah. we had purchased this building, we had purchased yeah. this property, we put everything we had into it at mm. this point. It's it's how are we how are we gonna navigate these times? Yeah. You know, and there's no there's no playbook for it. Gotcha. No matter what industry you're in at the time, whether it's the mill or yeah. wherever, yeah. there's no playbook for what there's we went no through. Playbook. You know, mm. um so I, I'm willing to write it if I have to. Yeah. Re- Really, really good. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> if I have to write that playbook and figure yeah. this out, then so be it. You know, I love his energy. Yeah, so, but Shane, you're energy, gonna be a, you're gonna help somebody. Yeah. Like you Sure, I hope so. You are gonna yeah. and it's gonna be another level of fulfillment for you because sure. you went through the toughest time for yeah. a place where people gather. Right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we we were the first to close and the last to open. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's how that worked, you know. But you know, we got through it, you know, again reverting back to my partner. We're both extremely savvy when it comes to finances. Yeah. And that's where it was. It was the how do we figure out with money mm. that we have and whether it was, you know, a government issued PPP loan or whatever. Mm. Yeah. And the money that we had on our own, how are we going to stretch this and make this work? Yeah. You know, and you Wonderful. had to be extremely smart about it, you know, yeah. and we were. We did everything we could to make it work, you know, yeah. and we came out of it and, um, you know, now, you know, there's still some residual ripple effects to this, yeah. uh, but there's light at the end of the tunnel, you know, we're, we're, we're seeing it now. So there's a lot of light. Yeah. Yeah. Things are, things are going well. Um, we're, uh, we're having a blast doing it. Oh, I bet are. you, you look like you're having yeah. fun. I love yeah. that. I love this. Yeah. Thing. You're right there in the crowd. I see you out. I see you checking things out. I see you watching yeah. your sound guy. I see right. your light guy. You know, I mean, we got lights, you got sound. The sound is so good, Shane. Yeah. Thank you. The sound, sound is so freaking good. The other day I saw your sound guy. I'm watching, you know, because I love this stuff. Dude. Yeah. I just love it. And I'm watching, and I think you brought Allison. Was her name? What's her name? What's the young lady that you brought to to uh, open up before Johnny? Uh, oh, uh, what was her Leanne name? Su- Stutler. Le- okay. Yeah. So, what, what is it? Leanne Stutler. Leanne Stutler. Yeah. Okay. So I'm watching Leanne, and I'm like, I heard something. And I watched him again, you know. I'm like, I'm like, hey, I said, hey, didn't did you just add delay to the end of the vocal at the end of the chorus? He's like, yeah. And I watched him. He's, he's, he's tap tempoing the song. Sure. <laughs> sure. I'm like, dude, oh, I don't cool. know if people even know what you're doing, but that, that, the fact that that vocal kept tailing off right. and he was already starting the verse. Yeah. High five, bro. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, <laughs> I love it, especially for support acts like that. I mean, a lot of times you go into a club and even big clubs, you know, yeah. They get him dialed in a little bit, and that yeah. sound guy sits back, and and you know mm-hmm. he has his you know lunch or whatever at that point. Our guys, they don't stop no. working. They do not stop it through every song. And again, it goes back to quality. You know, I mean, this is this mm-hmm. is not some dinky bar. You yeah. know, what I mean, doing yeah. sound. I mean, this is what we do. This is what I'm paying you for, and the expectation is perfection. You yeah. know, so um, and, and they've they like I said, they've taken it on, and that was Steve that night. Um, shout out to Steve Morris. He's one of our main sound Killed guys. Yeah. Steve, we appreciate your audiodacious professionalism. Bling, bling. Awesome, awesome guy, man. He really you're, loves you're, what he does, and he's part of yeah. our team. Yeah. You're building a brand, and within that brand, you're the people that are coming, they're expecting a certain level of yeah. sound, right. experience, right. all these different things, so that when you know your name comes up or, oh, that venue is having a show... 
people are already they know what to expect. Oh, sure. yeah. I, I'm, I'm tied into it. You know, my yeah. name's all over it. You yeah, know, there's, there's no That's doubt cool, about man. that. You know, but you know, yeah. people in people, you know, for their first time there, they you know they're coming to see a, a big band, you know, yeah. Soulfly or Lauren Elena or okay. whatever. You know, yeah. like mm-hmm. I'm not sure what to expect, and they come in and they're just they're just blown away. Yeah, yeah, they are. You know what I mean? They're blown away by wow, this place is pulling this off, and it's great. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's those re- refreshing moments that mm. you know you you hear those conversations from people and you get that feedback and that that to me is is, is the worth the weight in gold. You know? So so because it's the venue, it's your venue. Are you? Um, do you have to? bring draw the people is that another part of the business or do the, do you get help from like the bands that's that's a challenge of okay. any show all right you know, I, yeah, uh, I didn't know how there, there, there's some out there you know that are of course dead ringers you know you know the blues travelers you know no. stuff like that you know yeah. um though we don't even barely have to advertise anything that show will local sell h has got to be sold out right it's, gotta, it's not it's what? not sold out oh um, please people come on uh, yeah are you it's not me? so i mean it's selling well you yeah. know um, but uh, that that you know that should get close to that sellout mark. But um, that's that's a challenge. No mm. matter which band it is, you have to you have to get the message out there. Okay, you know. So yeah, learning how to and I never did. I was never on Facebook or social media mm-hmm. prior to owning this venue. I didn't want anything to do with it. Right. It wasn't right. me, you know. Um, but then once I got into this, wow, this is a huge portion of it yeah so yeah now i mean now our our advertising dollars go of course heavy into social media Mm -hmm. um we do some print media um of course posters flyers you know we advertise in some magazines yeah um radio ads and we do a you know a good amount of anything but it's really tapping into that specific demographic of who the target audience is and sometimes it's a challenge yeah it is you know he wears a lot of hats. Yeah, he does. <laughs> sure, sure. And I, and I have a good team, you know, that, yeah. that helps with that. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, you know, of course, Tyrus is my country guy. Yeah. You know, he okay. does he does his country stuff. And, and you know, we advertise through our, our means as well. And um, I have a couple in-house guys that, okay. you know, focus a lot on, you know, rock genre, yeah. metal genre. Um, and I got some other guys that, you know, I got a comedy, you know, group okay. I work with. So, yeah, the, there's, there's people that at this point that we've kind of refined – Right. To be part of the business and part of the team, you know, too many hands in the pot, man, it gets messy. Yeah. yeah, you know, so we no. really try to keep that a out. tight circle, right? Keep it, yes. keep the circle tight. At this point, we we, we it's working. Keep it tight to keep it right. So we right, love it. yeah, and that's kind of where we're at now. But yeah, f- finding finding the fan base for certain acts and getting them to come out and getting them to be comfortable going to a show, there's challenges with that, and you gotcha. and you see it, um, and. Uh, Older demographics now, mm-hmm. I guess. Uh, that group, that 55 plus, is sometimes a little bit more conservative now coming to shows and being yeah. in crowds. So we have to be wary of that on how we plan a show. Mm. It's crazy because somebody could go to a country mm-hmm. show on Thursday night, National Act. Yeah. They could come see um, Bonfire Friday night, watch, sure. watch an ACDC cover band. They could see a comedian Saturday night and go to church Sunday morning this, this at is true. the <laughs> Ark. This yeah. is how this guy... Wait. <laughs> Yes. Ch- go ahead. You can I go, gotta hear you can go to church. V1 Church on yeah. Sunday morning. What? I love, no, I love it, cool. Shane. I love you. You said you you alienate no one. Sure. Right. Nobody. You, you nobody. And I love that about you, man. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. Really we cool. we do. Um. I, I say we. Uh, I don't do anything other than uh, <laughs> allow them to use the space. But they are a great group of people. Mm-hmm. Um. It's a non denominational Christian church. Mm-hmm. They're called V1. They're based out of New York City. Mm-hmm. Great people. Um. The lead pastor out of New York is originally from this area. Yeah. So they kind of reached out, now you know, they're looking to expand, yeah. Yeah. you know, their reach. Right. And, um, you know, I'm really uh, self-conscious about who I let into that room and operate yeah. in that room. But when I met these people and we had a conversation, yeah. there was there was no, it was an easy decision. Yeah. A very easy that, decision. Yeah. So they have their own keys to the building. They have their own alarm codes. Absolutely awesome. They operate and they absolutely love it. You know, and it brings some good juju to the yeah, amen, you know amen. I mean? <laughs> balance, you know? right? right? Yeah, yeah balance. Yeah. You know, and you know they they do baptisms in there. They bring a pool, yeah, and crazy, here, and they do it all. You know, how, how got, awesome! Well, man. they they're one of the churches that have a full band. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. So that's part of the allure of of having your the, venue. Yeah, right. You know, the sounds built in, the lights are built in. Wow. Um, and is that their only spot other than New York? New York. Ah, they were. I don't know. That's just, their, that's their only um, brick and mortar base. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. they do a lot of stuff online. 
Caribbean. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, they have a big connection through the Caribbean, I noticed, in okay. the like, wow. Jamaica area and things like that, yeah. Yeah. and some other spots throughout the country, wow. yeah. you know, but um, I was very like-minded with them, yeah. you know. And, Did you grow and, up in church, too, a little bit? Uh, so yeah, so, I, I was okay. I was raised as a Baptist, you know, and Baptist okay. at that time was was pretty strict with yeah, things, yeah. and I and I got to the point where it was a turn off for me, yeah. you know. So me personally, I wasn't going yeah. as much, you know, yeah. and um, uh, this has kind of changed that. So oh, and, that's awesome. You know, yeah, that's cool. and, and you know the 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 lead pastor, he was you know um, he was as a younger man through college, he wasn't he was an atheist, you know, yeah. and he we did, had him on the show, Mike, yeah. yeah. Oh really? <laughs> as, soon, oh. as soon as you said, yeah, there was a, bro. There, oh. was a hey, there was a couple things you were saying. I'm like, wait a second. I looked at him. And he gave me the nod. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Really I didn't know. yes, sir. So, so that yeah. you know, hearing his story of how he, oh, he's yeah, came he's amazing, around and yeah. became a believer, yeah. and, and and the potential that he saw in what we do, yeah, you know, because I mean. Don't get me wrong. I mean, we're a concert venue. I mean, there's there there can be some debauchery going on with people <laughs> yeah, yeah, in there some yeah, nights, it, you know. Yeah. But they 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 see through all that. They yeah, they see what we're trying to, to do, it, yeah. and we have a great relationship together. Wow, yeah. how cool um, is that? And, yeah. I, and I really appreciate what what they bring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New, and and here's here's a little inside to Mike too. Guess what he was? You probably know. He was a heck of a musician. Yeah, yeah. Right. I Fathom Blue is a pretty good band. Yeah, yeah. One. We talked about yes. some of his music mm-hmm. and my music, and so yeah, yeah that that's great. So how do how do you know Mike? I know Mike because. He used to be a pastor at one of our churches. Okay. And, uh, you know, so, and, and a little bit of music, and he's just a good man. He is. He, he, he's, you know, I wish this world had more mics. Yeah, you absolutely. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, he's just so positive and uplifting, and, and he finds the good in others. Yeah. So You know, easily. the Jesus thing, right? right the thing yeah. that people don't get right. Right, right. He gets it right. You know, I mean, we need more of that in this <laughs> yeah, world. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, you know, and I've had some of the naysayers, you're doing church here. Why? But what do you mean? Why? I know <laughs> we need more of this yeah, in this world. Yeah, you know right, what I mean? Right. So, but that's, that's all part of what we do and, and where we stand by them and we're, we're darn happy to do it. Wow. Yeah, so, now I, I, we were going to ask about the naysayers and I think you answered that question yeah. for us. I didn't know, like, I'm sure it comes from a, a more than just that, but, but I love, and I know that the people that are going to be listening to this, the fellas that listen to this this podcast, they're going to understand that you know, you you're a guy. You, one, you grew up right in this area. You're proud of this area. You're proud of what what's happening in this yeah. area, the venue, sure. what you're doing. And I seen a ton of positivity in you. That Amen. your energy is insane. It's absolutely it's really, awesome. You know, yeah, it's awesome. It's who has great, time for yeah. negativity? Nobody. Yeah. I, I have no yeah. time in my life for it, yeah. you know? And, and if there was naysay, I mean, sure, yeah. in the beginning, you know, some close friend, man, I sure, this it. is what you want to do, yeah. man, you're good. Because they knew yeah. I was doing well and good. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I'd already made the decision, yes, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm doing it, you know? Yeah. And if there was any naysayers, they sure didn't say it to my face, so. Yeah. <laughs> but, we, talk, we talked about that last show. We were, we were thinking, you know, there's a lot of people that'll say things. There, there's no account, accountability on on a phone. So right. I could text you or yeah. send you whatever I yeah. want on Can't a message, hurt. but let's say we took this away. Like you said, none of them said it to your face. No, nope, you know nope. what I'm saying? And, and you know, people are going to tell you what you want to hear anyways. I, I, I see through that. You yeah. Know what I mean? It's, you That's know, cool. I, I made the decision internally, you know, How and cool I made it with my family yeah. and I made it with my business partner. And after people that, that matter, after that, yeah. get yeah. on the train, man, because we're <laughs> <Yeah>. rolling. <laughs> And I've always been that way. I've I can form my own opinions. And, That's good, man. And, you know, um, negativity. Like I said, it, it, what's the point? Mm-hmm. What is the point? Yeah. You know, um, I, I can't live that way. I learned something that I feel like you live, and I, and I'll share it with you. So if you make a promise to yourself, I'm going to do A, B, C, and D, right? But you don't fulfill that promise. That that develops lack of confidence in you. Yeah. But if you accomplish A, B, C, and D. It does the absolute opposite, right? <laughs> sure. And you and you develop confidence in what you're doing. You develop confidence in that passion that you know right. we're we are yeah. experiencing here on mm-hmm. this episode, and um, that's what you do. Yeah. You know? and, and I'm obsessive compulsive, so if I make an A, B, C, or D, I can't do anything else until so that's D the- is done. <laughs> You know, that's yeah. how I am. It's like if I set this goal, oh, I, I yeah. you know. Do you like? Are you the check mark? Like you like to check it off, man? Is that I, what I'm you a do? list. I'm a You're list, a list guy. Man. Okay, that's cool. You heard it right here. Yep. Yep. This is what we promote. This, but go ahead. Keep I, going. I, I have yeah. my notebook, and it's written down in there, and I go through it every day, and I cross off what's done. I add what needs to be added. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a oh, list so guy. Analog guy. Yeah. Yeah. Analog guy in the digital world. Yep. Yes, sir. And and it works. You know what I mean. But again, if if I 
if I have to get it done or I need to get it done or I've committed to do it, yeah. it's going to get done. Awesome. awesome. It's going to yeah. find a way to get done. You awesome. know what I mean? And, and I've had, I had, you know, a, a great boss of mine one day gave me some advice. You know, I was, had an employee that was having some issues with and they wanted the world. And he said, you know what? Always find a way to say yes. Always find a way to say yes. Absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> no matter who it is, no okay. matter what they're There's asking. There's a way to say yes. Find a way there? to say yes. You know, right. you may have to go out of your way. You may have to do something greater. Mm. But if you can, uh, as long as it's not, you know, immoral, unethical, yes. find a way to say yes. And I've kind of like, hmm, that really set me back. That's amazing. You know, so ever since then, for it, whether it's for my employees, my, my wife, my son, I want to tell him no more than yes, but... Um, I try to find a way to say yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, I may have to ask them to do something, you yeah. know, but to right. make that yes. But we're, let's work on it together, you know? Awesome. I love it. So, hey, I think Junior's going to hit you with some personal interest questions. <laughs> we, call them, we call them rapid fire. Yeah. And this if you ever how listen to the show. Go. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I like to preface by saying that anything that you say... You can change Kenny your mind. Will like, be held against you. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, it can yeah. literally. Yeah, you I was can, like, I've heard that before. <laughs> you can you can change your mind five seconds after you say it. I we're not gonna hold it against you. Sure. This is just for fun. Yeah. And for the people that don't know you, they get to know you this way a little bit. So we'll just start off with. Uh, this the, wasn't in the uh, the the show. No, 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 we like <laughs> no. This one we love, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, do you have a favorite food? We'll start off easy. Chicken wings, man. Chicken, Chicken wings. And yeah. I bet you they're right, bomb right. next next door. They are good. They are good. They are good. All right, all right. Uh, favorite movie? Ooh, it could boy. be an 80s. I'm, I'm kind what of a, a, of, a, of a Star Wars, uh, okay. Indiana Jones guy. Okay. There you go. Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. Those yep. kind of three. It's like when they're on TNT, man, I yeah. watch them all. You watch them all? <laughs> all right. Uh, best gift you've ever received? You My change son. your mind. Yeah. My awesome. son. Awesome. There you yeah. go. That's, that, that's yeah. yeah. Uh, you already said who do you go to for advice, so we're not going to ask you that. Do you binge on Netflix, and if so, what show? Um, I, I I do enjoy Netflix now and again. Um, I'm trying to think the last thing that I it didn't have to on be there. actually Netflix. I just I'm using that as a yeah. You know, I like a lot of history shows. Okay, Dang, um, cool. you know, yeah. uh, you know, Pawn Stars, uh, Curse yeah. of Oak yeah. Island. Okay, I, I'm into that kind of stuff. That's man. cool, that's cool yep. man. Yep. So that's is like the thing because I was going to ask you, do you have a, a thing outside of what you're doing it's hard to have a thing when your passion is the thing yeah yeah, yeah you yeah. know it's really hard because right. then Cause I, yeah yeah i always say it's kind of like a like a like a rug everything is woven together with what you do when it's yeah. your passion That's you probably only working like 18 or 20 hours a week i'm sure yeah <laughs> right more, more like a day yeah. <laughs> right right yeah. right uh last meal on earth what are you eating um, lobster, man. Okay. Mm. some lobster, hey, maybe crab legs or something. Yep, you yep, know? Yep. <laughs> if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Um, ooh, that's a good one. Yeah. Um, fly, man. Let's go with fly. fly? I'm cool with that. I love people that say that. Remember, uh, uh, uh Camacho? Fly. Yeah. Gas prices. Gas, gas, yes, he gas said price. gas prices are rough, man. <laughs> he's a rapper. He's a like, Christian rapper. He's like, they, they be rough, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, fly, man. Fly. Come on, let's give I love a try, it. You know? What advice would you give your 16 year old self? 16, 17, you know, like that mid high school. You know, the rebellious getting um, kicked out of the yeah, arc. Get that, yeah, that guy. Guy kissing girls in the, behind the <laughs> arc guy. <laughs> find, find your passion in life and, and go for it. There you I go. love it, man. Find it and go for it. I love it. Uh, who is the kindest person to you at that, at that age? You, um, you remember anybody? It's still my mom. Yeah, yeah. My mom, even Sweetheart. everybody yeah. around me, she's, still, she's just the nicest person in the world. You okay. know what I mean? So that's, that's great. She might land in this one, but you don't have to use her because we already know it probably is her most influential person in your life. Um, that, that, that's a hard one. You know, I mean that that I feel to me that's kind of changed through my life. Yeah, okay. that you know business I mean? partner I, was I, huge I, in your story I've had too. Influences. Yeah. I mean, the mentor, the business mentor. Yeah, was and, huge. and you know, now my my wife's a big influence. Oh, you know what I mean? That's because great. that's she, great. That's she's awesome. so supportive of what I do, and she believes in what I do almost more than I do. What sometimes. was her name? Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. So she influences me now to fight. You know wow. what I'm saying? To really go after this and make it happen. Wow. I mean, granted, she How likes cool the bills being paid. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's changed throughout, you know, you know, parents, you know, mentors, friends, yeah. and then mm -hmm. now into that. I, I love say. that, man. Yeah. Um, biggest fear. Do you have a biggest fear? Um, it's probably cliche, but 
not being in in this world and seeing my son grow up. Right. Nah, you know. I don't think I, so. I think that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I that's. I, I want to see him graduate high school. I want to see what yeah. he does as a man. Does he want to take over my business? Yeah. Is you he a junior? I mean? Um. No. 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 Uh, and how he, old is he? He's uh he's fourteen. Okay. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, yeah. We have a daughter who's twenty two. Awesome. Um. And you know, I'm I'm kind of I, I want to see it through with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. What is he? What's his passion going to be? Because right now it's video games and Mountain Dew. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> you know, I, know. I want to see how it changes. How he becomes a man. You know. Yeah. Uh, course, are, is what I'm doing going to rub off on him? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I hope so. Right. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Can you do any impressions? Nope. So, I'm, <laughs> that's no I'm one's terrible. ever answered that fast. Yeah, that was the so, quickest. I was like, so quick that was say. the imitation of a decisive man. Yeah. Nope. Was, yeah. <laughs> nope. Nope. Next. Nope. <laughs> uh, funniest thing you've ever read about yourself? It could be online. It could be something you've read. Like, even if it wasn't well, funny, you found it. There funny. hasn't been much written about me. No stories to be written. I think at okay. this point, how you cool know? is that? I but that. but you know what? I'm I'm open to uh, comedy. I'm a comedy lover, so roast me. You yeah, know? Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. You should do that as a show with it. That'd you be roast really me, cool. man. I I I love raw raunchy comedy. Yeah, so yeah, if Somebody yeah. comes after me. Whatever. Yeah, yeah you take it. Cool. You'll take Not it. Whatever, right. man. It's all good. You know. Um, one person you'd like to have coffee with, dead or alive? Um. There's probably two people, and they're they're both yes. Go ahead. almost opposite of the spectrum. Mm-hmm. Abraham Lincoln. Okay, mm-hmm. I've always been uh, being a history buff. I've always navigated to him for yeah. some reason. Yeah, you know, and really aspired. I mean, obviously, what he did during his time yeah. and the crazy time. Sure. And then obviously moving into our era now, Eddie Vedder. Eddie uh, Vedder, of Pearl, course. Seeing Pearl Jam on stage for the first time and the control that he had over the audience and yeah. what they—I mean, I was just like, "Wow, this is this is—is yeah. is this person even you know real at this point?" You yeah. Know? And I followed that band for years and followed him solo career for years, and that's always someone that uh, musically that I've, yeah. I've, I've, I aspire to, you know. Hopefully, you know, I met him a couple of times just yeah. randomly at places and things like Isn't that. that at shows, you know, but to sit down and and, and talk, you know. Not even music. Yeah, just, ah, yeah, that's so cool. Yeah, just really family. Cool. You know, he's a big Cubs fan. I'm a big yeah. Cubs yep. fan. So wow. talk baseball, talk kids, yeah. talk surfing. You know what I mean? That's that's what I would love to do. Wow. When you said like control the crowd, this is not part of what I was gonna ask, but I found that interesting. When you were a drummer, did you ever get in that zone like that? Did you ever feel that you just know, for an instant? I got in that zone with my bandmates. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So to. Be cool. in, a, in a song with a good crowd and things yeah. are going perfectly, and you connect with yeah, one and of the guys. You're in the pocket. Yeah, you're, you're, in the you're, pocket. you're in the pocket. You're the you're bass like, player, right? Yeah. Yeah. Boom. yeah, I mean, you connect yeah. with them, and you both have that smile like, hey, this is why we're doing That's yeah. the connection that I lived for. Yeah. You know what I mean? Being behind <laughs> the, the drums. Pumps because that's, yeah. I, I love that. Yeah, yeah. being behind, you know, behind the drums, I kind of, you know. Yeah. A Junior's a drummer as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, I was always kind of in the back of things. But, you know, connecting with the bandmates, that's. That's what I love. Love it. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, last question. So, and this one, um, if you have to start over today, okay, and you have to leave this world, you know you're leaving this world, okay, and uh, nothing that you own currently or have currently, it, it, it's all gone. The only thing left is on this table is going to be a piece of paper and a pencil, and you get to write down three words. What would they be? Man, um, <laughs> passion. Okay. Passion, perseverance, and and just love. <laughs> love for e- your fellow man, your family, your friends. Yeah. I mean, the more love is in this world, yeah. the further things will go. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's what I would love say. Love cancels out so many different things, right? That it are does, man. It's it. so broad. Yeah. 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 The 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 more you love on, on whatever you feel love is, the yeah. easier your life becomes. Yeah. That's you cool. know, forgiving others and loving yeah. others. It just makes everything easier yeah. and better. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. what I mean? I've, it has taken me time to figure that out. Sweet. You know? That's amazing. Love it, man. This is a great conversation, Shane. And I just want to tell you, from the perspective of a person who has been a local musician and a person who loves... I can't thank you enough, dude, for what you've done. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. We, I mean it. Just yeah. keep keep supporting what we do. Yeah. Yeah. Spread the word. Come see a show. Have a great time. Yeah. Um, that's what it's all about. Yeah, That's you, what it's just all about. look over your left hand shoulder and look in the aisle. Shane will be standing there watching, oh, yeah. watching it all happen. Yep, yep. Right? I, I, sometimes I'll sit in my office and I'll kind of watch from yeah. up there, and then I'll take runs through mm-hmm. the crowd, make sure everyone's where they need to be. And yeah, um, yeah man, it, it, it's it's so fun to be able to do that, and and I'm lucky. Yeah, I'm you lucky, are, man. And wow. I'm lucky to be able to do that. So the way we sum this up is typically we'll just say our names, and then 
it'll go Jay, you'll say Fernando, you'll say Shane Evans, which the whole world knows now, right? Yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> and then he'll say, this has been the Mental Edge pos- podcast, which is hard to say sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it is. So if we screw it up, we do it, we'll do it 11 times. <laughs> and then the last thing Shane will say is, we out. Okay? So my name is Jay Wakasey. I'm Fernando Lopez Jr. This has been the Mental Edge podcast. And we, we out. out. We out. We out. We sincerely hope you enjoyed this episode of the Mental Edge Podcast. Please remember to like, subscribe, follow, and share. Until next week, we out.